God bless you for choosing to listen to this anointed message from Dr. Reverend Christopher Abulame of King's Tabernacle, where Jesus Christ is Lord and we are bringing the kingdom to the nations. I want to speak from the book of First Kings and chapter 2. And I want, what I want you to say to yourself, I must cross over. Uh, you didn't say it like you meant it. <laughs> Are you ready to cross over? Are you ready to cross over tonight? I must cross over. Uh, Brother Charles was praying earlier on and I was just listening. He said something to the effect that we'll wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of the dark places of this world. If you understand wrestling, you would understand that scripture. You, you, cannot, you cannot be opposed by the enemies until you cross over. You cannot, you will not be, as long as you stay in your comfortable position, the enemy isn't going to bother you. But when you start a crossover, then they start to show up. <laughs> in a wrestling match, you know, the line is drawn. The man is on the other side. You, you don't push until he tries to cross over to your side. So when you try to cross the line, that's when the enemy show up. And some of you are here today, you are fighting, you are fighting some battles, not because you did anything wrong, but because you just cross over. We just heard a testimony. I, I didn't get the details yet, but, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the opposition. Uh huh. Because when you when you cross that line, some stuff, are, some witchcraft spirits are gonna, yeah, it, it look like somehow they 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 they, they kind of alarm those lines. And as soon as you cross over, something happened. Ging, 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 somewhere, and the demon spirit said, "Oh, he 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 moved over it. He crossed over it." And then you start, you find yourself fighting all kind of battles. And so tonight. We're going to say to those demonic powers that want to stop us from crossing over that enough is enough. They cannot hold you any longer in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 2. In from verse 36. And the Bible says, and the king sent and called Shemaiah and said unto him, Listen to this. Build thee and house in Jerusalem. Dwell there and go not forth hence any deed. For it shall be on the day that thou goest out and pass over the brook Kedron. Thou shalt for a sudden that thou shalt surely die and thy blood shall be upon thy head. Now what is the background of this story? Shemaiah somehow had offended David. And David had taken an oath that he would not kill him. But David grew old and chose for himself Solomon to be king. And one of the conversations that he had with Solomon was to take care of unfinished business. Glory to God. And, and somehow there are some David out there who feels that Solomon must take care of some unfinished business over your life. Maybe you offended a David somehow, some way down in your past life. Maybe your mama or your daddy offended some David in their past life. And somehow they have delivered your case to a Solomon. And here you are today having to fight battles that you don't even know about. And Solomon has said you will never cross over. And so tonight I address every of those spirits. Wherever they are on your behalf, they have taken counsel against your life 
and said you will never cross over to 2019. Today I command the judgment of God to come upon them in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, and so Solomon was delivered this man, Koshimel. And Solomon called him and said, Shimel, I'm not going to kill you, but I'm going to put some restrictions over your life. He said, you can build the best house in Jerusalem. You can have all the kids that you want to have in Jerusalem. As long as you stay in Jerusalem, you are going to be all right. The moment you try to cross over to the other side, you will be dead. Yeah. And Shemaiah said, it sounds good to me. But three years have passed. And two of his servants had run away. And Shemaiah got to know that two of his servants were gone. And he forgot what Solomon had said to him. He was fine as long as he was in Jerusalem. Uh, he was fine as long as he had just enough. He was fine as, as long as he was in a place of not enough. But the moment he started to get into a place of more than enough, then everybody showed up and said, no, you can't have it. Uh, he was fine when he was failing. He was fine when he couldn't graduate. Uh, the moment he started to pass his exam, everybody showed up and said, no, you can't do it. Nobody has ever done it in your family. Uh, yes, he was fine when he was broke. He was fine when he was broken. He was fine when he was disgusted. But the moment that he tried to rise up, oh my God, all the alarm bells was out in the open and everybody was against him. No, you can't do it. Uh, he was fine as long as he stayed beyond the line. The moment he tried to cross the line, David said you would die. Solomon said you are dead. And for some of us today, there are powers of hell that have been detailed to your life. And they said, as long as you stay in your place, as long as you, you keep your position, you can build whatever house you want in Jerusalem. You can have whatever you want in Jerusalem. But the moment you try to cross the boundary, they're going to show up in your life. And so somehow you find yourself having to contend with powers of hell. Uh, not because you did anything wrong. But because you cross over to the other side. Uh, it, it is fine. Sometimes the devil let you go into 2019. Uh, yeah, it's okay to go in there as long as you are sick. He's fine with them. Uh, uh, yeah, it's okay to be in 2019 as long as you're the same yesterday. You're the same last year. You're the same two years ago. He's fine with them. Uh, the moment you start to say to yourself, I don't know that this is the place that I want to be. Uh, devil is not for them. Uh, I'm ready to move on right now. Uh, I want to do something different. That I'm going to get something different. And then the devil shows up. You are breaking uh, the covenant that you had with your parents. And so tonight, tonight, it is up to you to look at your life and say, God, where have I been? Where is my life like this? Uh, you, you know, Gideon, Gideon had to ask that question. Uh, the angel came to Gideon. You know what Gideon said to the angel? He said, he said, he said my family is the poorest of the poorest. It's the poorest family in Benjamin. He said, he said we could do nothing. But the angel looked at him and said, he said, Gideon, you are a man of valor. You're not supposed to be here. He said the angel, that's not true. Because I'm not better than my father. I'm not better than my brothers. I'm not better than my, than my siblings. None of them has achieved anything in life. Therefore, I have no hope of achieving anything. Some of us are restricted because you always look at where you're coming from. You're never looking at where you're going. You're never thinking about the promises of God for your life. Or you look at you compare yourself with your brother uh, and say as long as i'm better than my brother i'm okay uh, as long as i'm better than my sister i'm all right uh, but that's not the will of god for your life uh, god wants you to be better than all uh, he's made you more than a conqueror he's made you overcoming in this world he's blessed you whomever god has blessed no man can curse hallelujah to god come and help me praise him uh, are you ready tonight to cross over 
Are you ready tonight to say to Solomon, every Solomon in my life? You know what Solomon said, ladies and gentlemen. Can you just read it one more time? Solomon said to this, this man, he said, he said, as long as you're here, now, just imagine for a moment uh, that I'm tied to this pulpit. I'm tied to this pulpit. Just imagine for a moment uh, that I'm chained to this. Uh, I, I, uh, as long as I stay over here, I can, I can go around. Uh, I stay to the extent that, that my, my, my anchor will let me. Uh, but the moment I try to move further than that, something is going to pull me back. The moment I try to go this way, something is going to pull me back. Why? Because there is an embargo that is placed on my life. Somebody here today, an embargo has been placed on your life. And I come to tell you tonight, every embargo that is placed on your life, today it shall come to an end in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. As long as I go around the circumference to which my rope will let me, everybody is okay. But the moment I try to target, to move, and get myself out of it, the alarm clock are ringing in the kingdom of hell. That's why the brother said we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principality and against power and against the rulers of the dark places of this world against witchcraft spirit against ancestral spirit against the demonic powers that come against our life the anaconda of the spirit that want to stifle my life I wrestle against them but I will not stop wrestling glory to God as long as I have life in me I will not stop wrestling I keep fighting until victory is sure because I know this fight is not just for me it's for my wife it's for my children it's for my children children I can't stop fighting now I've come too long I've come a mighty long way I've come to hell I can't go back now ain't no Solomon can stop me in the name of Jesus come and give God praise here somebody give him praise now somebody give him praise Somebody is going to ask you. This is a prophetic word for somebody. He's going to ask you, son, how did you get your breakthrough? I don't know if it is you. Huh? Maybe you're going to tell me, son, how you got your breakthrough. Somebody is going to ask you, how did you break forth? I never thought you would make it. But the Lord brought you out of the marriage clay. He set your feet on the rock to stay. What God say yes, sir. nobody can say no. If he promotes you, nobody can demote you. If he lifts you up, nobody can bring you down. If he sits you up, nobody can unseat you. Somebody give him praise here. Somebody give him glory now. Somebody give him glory now. Tell yourself, I dare to cross him. I dare to cross the line. I dare to cross the line. No weapon, no weapon. No weapon, no weapon. No weapon, no weapon. That is fashioned against me. Shall be able to prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, give him praise here. Come on, give him glory now. Come on, give him glory now. We're going to be closing soon. Going to be closing now. And they say, yeah, you, you can graduate, but you'll never find a job. Yeah, yeah, you can graduate. But the moment you try to get a job, they say, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh that's not the covenant. The covenant was, you will graduate, but you'll never get a job. Oh, I want to come to America. Oh, no problem. You can go to America. But you will never make it in America. We will let you come. You get on the plane. You will land safely. The moment you are in GFK, they show up. So the assignment is, you come, but you will never make it. Glory to God. Yes, you can, you can, have, you can have a husband. That's fine. But you will never be happy. 
having a house. You can have a wife, but you will never be happy having a wife. You can have a child. Well, no, yeah, you can have a child, but you will never be happy because you will always be in the hospital. That's the assignment. You will always be there. It's never going to give you peace. That's the assignment. But every assignment to none that is negative against your life, I curse them tonight in the name of Jesus. I curse them tonight in the name of Jesus. You are crossing over. You are coming over. You are crossing over. You are coming over. You are crossing over. You are coming over. Come on, give him praise now. Come on, give him praise now. Come on, give him praise now. Come on, give him glory now. Come on, give him glory right now. Come on, give him glory right now. Come on, give him glory right now. Solomon said, he said, on that day that thou goest out, on that day that thou goest out, he said, and thou pass it over or cross it over and you go over the brook, he said, thou shall know for a certain that thou shall surely die. Some folk die not because they should die, but because there's an assignment over their life. A friend of mine told me, he said in his family, every time had siblings before him, any time somebody is 49, there's preparation for burial. Because as soon as it's 50, they die. As soon as it's 50, they die. It's this. Because somebody said, you cannot cross that line. As soon as you're trying to cross it, we cross you. <laughs> but because he's a man of God, and he understood by the word of God, what this man Shemai did with David. David was going to kill him first. Because he offended him. I don't know who you have offended. I don't know who you have offended. That have taken your case. To demonic power. To put a restriction in your life. Today I prophesied to you. Every handwriting by the powers of hell against your life shall be erased by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He had offended David. But he went to David after he offended David. He told David, I'm so sorry that I offended you. Everything that I said, please forgive me. And he didn't stop there, said David. Let's make a covenant that you're not going to kill me. And David said, yeah, that sounds good. And he made a covenant with David. But he could have done the same thing with Solomon, but he didn't. The same demon that wanted to destroy his life was the same demon that made him forget that he had a covenant. And that demon pushed him over the line. And as soon as he crossed... Everything was fine before he crossed it. As soon as he crossed it, his life was not spared. Solomon said, kill him. And indeed, he died. But we can, we can appease to the almighty God today. Because it said in his word, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 24, verse 27. It said, the yoke shall be removed from off of my neck. He said that yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And I believe there's an anointing in this place tonight to break every yoke upon our lives in the name of Jesus. I command that anointing to come upon you right now. That every yoke in your life that restricts your life shall be broken right now. 2019, there shall be no more yoke. 2019, there shall be no more burning. 2019, there shall be no more suffering. 2019, there shall be no more struggling. 2019,
2019 there shall be no more sickness in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus glory to God have you have you ever seen situation so okay, you're, you're coming to America that's good but when you get there you will never be happy and the man and the man comes into the United States and then he falls sick <laughs> And then throughout his stay here, he's sick all the time. And you're wondering, why? You thought I was coming to have a vacation. But he came in. He said, so the problem is not that you shouldn't go. They'll let you, but you will never have peace as long as that assignment exists. And that's how this power works. And it worked differently in all of our lives. It's the power of restriction. It's the power of embargo. It's the power of bondage. It's the power that says to you, you can get there. But when you're almost getting that blessing, something comes in between. The rules are changed. <laughs> Have you ever been in line? And everybody's getting it? And they're handing it to everybody. The moment you show up, the, the window is locked. Glory to God. But the Lord's power is going to make sure that no window will ever be locked upon you. Never again in your life in the name of Jesus. God is going to change it around in the mighty name of Jesus. Now this is what happens when God changes it around. <laughs> Listen to this. This is what happens. I tell you this story. This happened in Nigeria. This is real story. The man went to the embassy. Want to get a visa to come to U.S. He's gone many times. Denied. Denied. But on this day he had prayed. Maybe a Solomon had put a restriction on him. A, a, a travel restriction. <laughs> glory to God to some people a travel restriction have been signed over their lives see you can't move you can't get out of providence if you do you're going to find yourself in an accident can't get out of that a travel restriction has been placed on some folk life so it was placed on this man's life but he, he knew the secret after he had experienced negative result he decided to do something different Go into fasting and praying. <laughs> it takes a covenant to break a covenant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It takes a covenant to break another covenant. Mm -hmm. and, and so he had to go make a new covenant. That's why we have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Glory to God. And on this day he came in. The devil raised his head again. And so everybody that were... In front of him, went to the window, denied, denied, denied. And now he is speaking in tongue. <laughs> because it's almost his turn. And the Lord did something. And the person who is doing deny, deny, got a message from the supervisor. I said, come for a minute. I need to talk to you. And then another person replaced him. And then it was his turn. And then he met the new person. Welcome to America. Bam, take your visa it took god to replace that person who was denying everybody to get him to receive his visa that's the power of prayer when god changes your situation he changes whatever had been there before it takes the power of prayer and the anointing of god to make a difference in your life that's what you're going to do tonight that's why you came in here tonight. God allowed you to be here tonight. Some of us would have had excuses not to be in church. God doesn't work by mistake. There's always a divine design with God. When God allows you to be in a meeting like this, there's a reason for it. You can never just take it for granted. God let you come here today because there's something to be settled in your life. He allowed you to hear this word tonight because he knew there's something to be settled in your life. You dare not walk out of this place tonight the same way that you came in tonight. You got to make your mind up and say, devil, no more restriction. Devil, no more embargo. Devil, I 
said to cross the line I do it in the name of the Lord because the Bible said blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord if God be for me it don't matter who is against me glory to God God is on my side today I have Jehovah on my side I have the power of heaven on my side no weapon that is fashioned against me shall be able to prosper the Lord that make the heaven and the earth when he says yes no one can say no somebody rise up tonight to your feet rise up tonight to your feet you have few minutes to pray you have few minutes to pray I'm not gonna give you any prayer point today because I want you to pray your prayer don't pray my prayer when I tell you to pray and, and I give you some prayer reports from prayer point you're going to be praying my prayer but I want you to pray your prayer take a moment just think about your life think about where the devil had cheated you they will not cheat you any longer in the name of Jesus not again shall they cheat you you came through 2018 it might have been tough it might have been difficult but good days are ahead of you best days are ahead of you glorious days are ahead of you but you can make the difference tonight and say devil you cannot hold me down any longer I tried to do that thing they hold me back I can't do it I tried to take some classes they won't let me do them I tried to register my business they won't let me do it I tried to move forward they won't let me do it but to Today is the last day that they will trouble my life in the name of Jesus. Come on, begin to pray right now. Begin to pray your prayer. Begin to pray your prayer. Every witchcraft spirit that have been released against you from your father's side, from your mother's side. It don't matter where they came from. It don't matter which side they're on. You are on the lost side. Begin to bind them right now in the name of Jesus. Break their hold over your life. Break their hold over your life. Break their hold over your children's life. In the name of Jesus somebody pray tonight pray like a minute sometimes you gotta pray like a madman you gotta pray like a mad woman because you need a breakthrough in your life you need to break forth you dare to cross the line you dare to cross over onto the other side is a power of god that you will go over this mountain is a power of god that you will leap over this wall is a power of god that you will take the land that god has a passion to you come and pray tonight I can feel somebody pulling there I can feel somebody praying I can feel the energy of prayer coming from the mouth of somebody somebody just found her her Shiloh right now yes like Hannah was praying and the man of God could see the mouth move but didn't know what you were saying I don't need to know what you're saying tonight but you are talking to God my God settle your case settle your case before God in the name of Jesus somebody need to cry to him cry to God tonight and say change my life change my situation turn me around turn me around turn me around turn my life around come on begin to prophesy to 2019 you will cross the line you will cross over you will go over you will come over in the name of Jesus and you will be above all by the power of God in the name of Jesus come on begin to pray don't stop praying now you've come too far to stop now this is a day of decision yes yes every rope that's tying you every chain that's tying you come on break it now break it now break it now break it now <laughs> oh Jesus oh Jesus yes 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 <laughs> my God my God every every Solomon your case have been delivered to them David delivered his case to another man whatever whoever had delivered your case to somebody else to
to persecute you in your workplace, in your neighborhood, in your family. Today, rise up. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. You are in a battlefield of life now. You're battling for your future. You are battling for your future. You are battling for your future. You are battling for your future. <laughs> one more minute, one more minute, one more minute. You are battling for your future. You are battling for the future of your children. Uh -huh. Come on, pray it. Ah, my God, my God, my God. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anyone that said you will not get that job. Oh, yes, you will not have that child. You will not have that pregnancy. You will not have that marriage. Uh -huh. Anyone who said it, who can speak when God has not spoken? Who can speak when God has not spoken? Aha, aha, aha. Anyone that say that child will never make it. Oh, yeah, that child will never make it. Oh, who can speak when God has not spoken? Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Sahan, the Labosa, the Labosa to here. Whatever place and embargo on your spiritual life, you try to move forward, they bring you down again. You try to go up, they bring you down again. Come and bind them tonight. Oh, you're fighting for your life. <laughs> hey, Shatahaya. 2019 must be different. 2019 must be better. You got your mind made up. I dare to cross the line. Uh -huh. I dare to cross the line that my father never crossed. I dare to cross the line that my mother never crossed. I dare to cross the line that any member of my family has never crossed. I dare to cross over. Elijah, Elijah gave the power to Elisha, but Jordan was on his way. Ooh. Somebody, Jordan is on your way. Jordan wouldn't let you pass, but you got the mantle. Thank God for Elijah. He got the mantle. Bam! Struck Jordan. And Jordan open. You ought to strike your Jordan tonight. Bam! Ooh. Hey! My Jordan must open. I command my Jordan to open. I command my Jordan to open. I must get over to the other side. I must get over to my promised land. Put God on the high. There's power in this place. There's anointing in this place. There's power here. There's anointing here. There's anointing here. There's anointing here. There's anointing here. By the anointing, every yoke shall be broken. Come on, receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Oh, Andalabosa here. Bresatahaya. Hey, Nalabosa here. Brahe Handalabosa. Glory. 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 My God. 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 Just take a moment. Just thank the Lord. That every restriction, every embargo over your life has been removed. Today it has been removed. In the name of Jesus. 
Just take a moment, just thank him for it. Just thank him for it. You will have it, you will enjoy it. You will not have to endure it. I say you will not have to endure it, you will enjoy it. Woo! That's for somebody here. You have endured for too long. You are enjoying from this day onward. In the name of Jesus. Your moment of enjoyment has come. Come on, help me give him glory. Ah! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you tonight for every case that you have dealt with today. We came in here, God, with different cases. Restrictions and embargoes of every kind. But I thank you tonight because it has been lifted. <laughs> every restriction on our forward movement, which is called progression, has been lifted tonight in the name of Jesus. Every restriction on your upward movement, your upward mobility, has been removed tonight in the name of Jesus. Every restriction on your spiritual life has been removed tonight in the name of Jesus. Anyone, anywhere, they have spoken negatively over your life and have delivered your case to a demon spirit. Tonight I command that word to backfire in the name of Jesus. Let it return to the sender. 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 Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him glory. I want you, I want you to take a step. If you're in, just take a step to the aisle. And you're going to prophetically, I cross over. Take a step out. Take a step out so you can do that. Yeah, if you're on the other side, just go on the arm. Glory to God. You're going to prophetically, this is prophetically now. You're demonstrating what you just prayed on. You're going to take a step. Some of you are going to take a big step. Some of you are going to take two steps. Some of you are going to run around. Glory to God. <laughs> Let us go in the name of Jesus. I cross over. I cross over. I cross over. I cross over. I cross over today. I cross over tonight. I cross over. I dare to cross the line. I dare to cross the line. Woo! I dare to cross the line. I dare to cross the line. I dare to cross the line tonight. I dare to cross the line tonight. Come on, give the Lord some praise. If you have been blessed by this message or have a prayer request, we would like to hear about it. Please call us at 401-954-6188 or visit our website at www.kingstabernacle.org. You are also welcome to join us on Sundays for services beginning at 8.30, 10 a.m., or 6 p.m. and for Wednesday Bible studies at 7 p.m. We are located at 500 Greenville Avenue in Johnston, Rhode Island. Please remember that you are always welcome at King's Tabernacle where Jesus Christ is Lord and we are bringing the kingdom to the nation.